Late Night in the Art Den with Primetime. Episode 3, Harley Quinn. Enjoy. This was a fun one. All right, so it's been a few days. We've been really quiet. We've not been doing a lot of posting. We've been stupid busy. We've been in the booth. We've been painting some bike parts. We've been getting a little bit of touch-up work, finishing off some, some old projects, trying to get things caught back up after this whole COVID disaster. Now, we've been working on a really close friend of mine's vehicle the last few days. Now, this project, I took on because a good friend of mine has um, been really down because she's been really sick and uh, I've really hated seeing the sad face every day. So I said that I needed to try to help that. So I took on painting her car. Now this has been a long process because there's been a lot of work. We are getting things moving. We've almost got this thing ready to lay the first color. There's been a lot of touch-up work, a lot of fixing things that we didn't ever originally anticipated, but uh, things are making progress. So we're going to be in the booth now all night. I'm going to start taking some photos. We're going to do a little bit of video updates, and we're going to take you along for this process. But I think this is going to be a pretty fun one. Okay, we've reached about 2 a.m. We've got the car pretty much ready to go for the first color. Red's ready to go. We're gonna blow this thing in. Things have been making good progress. It has been a long night. Uh, we did have to quarter or section off the car to make the pattern we were doing, but uh, we're now gonna go through, get everything wiped down, and then we're gonna start laying some red. All right, it's about 4 a.m. We've got the red on. First coat's down, we're, we're making up a little bit more, we're letting it flash off, we're going to go back in, we're going to hit it with the second coat. This is going to make it a lot brighter, and then once this thing is flashed off, we'll have to demask it and start masking from the other side, once this paint is cured out nicely. So, things are progressing, a little slower than we wanted, but I want to make sure that we're getting good coverage as we are covering quite a bit of this car. Things are going well. I am looking forward to seeing this thing done. All right, well, it's about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've got, the colors are now flipped. We've got the red down. We've masked it all up, so we're not gonna get any of the black overspray on it. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna hit black on all this white area here and on the roof and all the other places that we've not covered with mask. And we're gonna complete this checker pattern. Once that's done, then we're gonna break into the metallic and we're gonna do the center stripe. We're almost there, six o'clock. We should hopefully be out of here by, I would say about nine o'clock after everything's cleared and done. Let's see if we can do it. Listen to that sound. He's the best sound in the world. 
Sound of night. This is my best work at night. Not usually working outside though. So this is a bit of a new one. So working away. We're making progress. Putting down all the tones. It's probably about 11 o'clock at night. We've been going all day trying to get this thing going. I gotta get this thing done and out. I've got a few other projects that I'm behind on and I wanna really move this thing and get it out of the out of the laneway here and get it off to clear. So we set up ourselves a, a little paint booth and we're just gonna keep airbrushing until hopefully we can get all these masks off and get everything sealed hopefully later tonight. So we're gonna keep moving. I'll keep giving you guys some updates, some pics and some video and Hopefully she turns out. Black deck we ordered. Win some, lose some. Oh well. Well, I just want to take a moment to mention that all the products, paints, all the supplies, everything, uh, we've dealt with Browns. We've dealt with them for many years. They've always been really good to us. They helped us out a lot with this project, getting us what we needed. And I just wanted to give them a shout out. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, keep up this.
7 o'clock. We've been at it all day. We've made some good progress. The airbrush work is finalized. We're going through now. Lauren's just getting all the nip and the tuck done on all the masking work. Once that's done, we're gonna come back in. We're gonna start touching in the red and the black areas that need it. And then give her a little bit to cure out, flash off, and we mix some clear and we're gonna make this thing shiny. It's gonna be a long night. We're probably gonna be in clear for, I would say about eight o'clock. And then hopefully out of here by around 10 o'clock by the time she's done. So it's, it's happening. We're doing everything we can, but let's get it done. Okay, so it's about 8.30. We've got most of the work down. The reds are all touched in. We're just doing one final little nip because I saw one speck I didn't like. So we're just going to blend in that area, make it perfect. Got to be perfect. At least as close as we can get. We are about to come in. We're going to touch in a little bit of the black. And then it's clear time. Everything seems to be spraying good. Guns are running nice. Beautiful, thanks to my water. This is going to be a great job. So we're going to push this through now and get this thing done. All right, so it's about midnight. We're about pretty much done. We're packing up now, getting the the truck all loaded, calling it a night, clears on, we got good three coats on there, worked out really nice, it's a lot of work to make this thing happen today between me and Lauren, but props to Lauren for, for all her hard work, and we've, uh, we've really put it in today to try to get this thing done for Sherry, but hey, you know what, for doing airbrush, base coat, and clear, I think we did pretty good today. Wow. Put this thing together tomorrow, but we're gonna call it a night tonight. So, out from the Art Den studio, I'm prime time. Sure, Lawrence says hi. You guys have a good night. Good morning. Well, it's probably about 9.30, about 10 o'clock. We just got up to the shop. We were here about a half hour ago. We're still waiting for him to open up for us so that we can uh, get this car out and put it back together again. I'm exhausted. Lauren's exhausted. It was so hard to drag our butts out of bed this morning, but <clears throat> I'm feeling really pretty accomplished. We got a lot of stuff done, and uh, I'm excited to see where this goes in the future. This isn't the first time we're going to be working with this car. Uh, we are going to be adding more work to it this off season. I'm going to be putting some more airbrush work on the front hood and I'm going to be filling in some of the spaces. So I mean the, the little bit of airbrush work that I've started I am going to be expanding on. So it's, it's going to turn into a, a full scene on this car. It'll, it'll be pretty cool. Um, but things are definitely moving. And they're going the right direction. We are looking at quite a few projects. Um, a lot of people that have messaged us with a lot of interest. Please, if you're going to get a job, please book now. I mean, we are trying to, to negotiate this shop. I can't do it without a schedule. I can't do it without knowing that we've got the work in order to keep us moving. We've got a $30 an hour airbrush rate right now versus our normal 50. If you want to get something done, it is going to help keep us alive and it's going to help get you something amazing on your ride. We want to make that happen and we want to get into our new shop. So throw us a message. Let's get some jobs booked and let's make some plans because I want to make some pretty cool stuff for you guys. And I want to see some pretty cool things happen. Uh, we are looking at possibly having an entry into Import Fest. Uh, we are also looking at a couple uh, bike shows, the International Bike Show this year. We may, we may be in there. 
Uh, so we'll see how, how uh, all the events are affected. But we've got a lot of goals and, and we want to see you guys and talk to you guys. So let's get her done. I'm going to go in in a few minutes here and grab this car and we'll take a look. Check it out. So after you do a clear, when you deal with artwork, sometimes you need to do some things like mask or use tape to get an edge. When you do that edge, it will show up sometimes in your clear, even if you put good three coats on. You'll get a little bit of a ridging in, your, in the side of your clear when you look at it from the side. So what we're doing now is we're going to flow coat the entire car. First, that requires us to come in and we wet sand the whole car. We are going to be wet sanding this with 800 wet. We're going to take this whole car down to a nice flat, get all the edges and make sure everything's nice and perfect. Then we're going to clean the whole surface before we get ready to clear it. I'll be clearing it probably tonight by about five or six. And hopefully I can have this thing out by about nine o'clock or so. So I take my time when we do clear something that you really want to pay attention to so that it comes out nice and you're getting everything and you don't get any dry spots. So I'm going to keep going on this, but let's see what this looks like when it's done. So it's about 9.45. We've been at this for a few days. It's been a heck of a journey. Now we brought this car in, we got it all apart, we did all the base sanding. We did a bunch of base work. We did finishing on the airbrushing on the side of this thing. We then cleared it, wet sanded the whole car, cleaned it again. And yesterday, at about 12 hours on the second day of 12 hours, we were approached. We were approached by Stefan at New Life Collision. He saw how hard we were working on this thing. He knew that we were doing it out of the good of our hearts for a really good friend of ours. Someone who's followed us for a long time and absolutely has loved what we do. So he said, listen, let me help you. Let me take care of it for the night. And I said, well, I." I kind of want to finish it. I've, I've taken it this far. And he said, listen, he's like, you guys have put your heart into this. You guys have done it. I'm so impressed by it. He absolutely loved the mural on the side of it. He's like, it would be my pleasure to help you guys finish this up. So reluctantly, I said, okay. And I walked away. And I handed it over the gun to Stefan. Stefan went through last night. He got her cleared. And it looks amazing. We have a few little dust specks to clean out, wet sand and polish, but man, he did a great job. And he came in after we'd done all of our duty. So it was nice to, to have that reach out from him. So huge shout out to you, buddy. I really appreciate you coming up and giving us that hand. Would have been a late night last night if it had been uh, us staying on, but you got to do what you got to do. So the car is ready, the car is timed to be put back together, pushed out the door, and when time has come, Sherry, she's coming home to you. Let's make that happen. All right, so the car is ready to go. We've got it all wrapped up in plastic. We are not pulling it out today. It looks like it's gonna be a really crappy day outside. So we're leaving at the body shop for the day. It's been covered. Uh, we did a clear this morning on the bat wing, or sorry, not the bat wing, the tail wing of the car. So that is just being finalized, as well as a couple of our art pieces are getting cleared this morning. Um, everything went well. We we're really excited to, to see what it looks like. Today, at some point, the owner of the car is going to meet up with us. And we are going to take her out to see the car for the first time with clear on it. So 
she sounds pretty excited. She's had a heck of a week. It's been really tough on her. So we want to make this the best experience that we can for our client. So we're going to we're going to take her down there and we're going to we're going to make her smile a little bit and give her a good day. All right. So we got about an hour before she shows up. I'm going to get some work done and then we're going to roll out to go down and check out this car. <laughs> She's a little shy. Okay, we're not all together. Come in here. Uh, okay, we're not all together. Okay, next time. It's okay. Nice meeting you. And there you have it. Harley Quinn. So, Sherry now has the vehicle. We did deliver it a couple days ago. Uh, I've taken a couple days now to kind of just unwind and, and breathe get some other things done, meet with a couple clients about some jobs. So she's happy, and and that's what matters. I mean, she she's followed us for a long time. Uh, she wanted to get a job done. She's been saving and saving, but unfortunately, with having to miss so much work, it's just not possible to, to splurge on something like that for yourself knowing that she has a little girl and, and has all these obligations to her health, you know, just I wanted to make a little bit of a difference, you know, give her something to, to get up in the morning for and, and to look forward to. But Sherry, I, I'm really glad you're happy. And I'm really glad that we were able to, to make this dream come true for you. So was Lauren and so was Paula. I didn't mention her earlier. She did come in for a few hours on the sanding part on the second day. She was learning uh, a bunch of different things, but she really wanted to help with, with this. So she came in and, and definitely helped us out, got to uh, get the car ready out for a final clear on that second day. And we really appreciate it, Paula. Thank you so much for all your help. She is making shirts now. She is doing an amazing job, and she has joined the Art Den team. So we're really proud to have her, and really proud to, to be uh, be so close. But again, thanks for everyone for tuning in. I hope you guys really liked this car. I hope you like this build. We're going to be doing some other ones. I do have a really cool Roadster coming in. Uh, we're going to be doing Annabelle theme. I'm going to be filming that this week. That should be dropped off, I do believe, by Wednesday. So I'm hoping to have that as a video either for this week or next week. We'll see how it goes. I do have some more I want to get done. This car is really eating this week away. But I'm glad that we were able to get it done for her. Give her a little bit of driving time before she tucks it away. And then we're going to have some fun with that car. <laughs> But anyways, again, if you really if, if you really like this show, really like what we put on this time, uh, please hit that like and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And we'll have more projects like this coming up. Uh, not all are going to be customer projects, but we are going to be taking on some charitable stuff. I really want to help as much as I can. I'm not, I gotta I gotta try to balance it between 
surviving with the family and and taking care of uh, taking care of my kids uh, with helping people. So it's sometimes it's a really tough, tough, tough teeter totter, but uh, we do everything we can, right? Because it's at the end of the day, it's all about how many smiles you can you can make. But this was a fun one. It was a good challenge, and I'm up for the next one. So let's get together on it. Let's make it happen. Thanks again for tuning in. This is probably the longest episode. I'm really glad if anyone and out there stuck through the whole thing. It means a lot. And, uh, we'll hopefully get more cool things up for you. Out from the art den, I'm Prime